must also realize that the problems of racial injustice and economic injustice cannot be solved without a radical redistribution of political and economic power. All labor has dignity. Yes. But you are doing another thing. You are reminding not only Memphis, but you are reminding the nation that it is a crime for people to live in this rich nation and receive starvation wages. America's opportunity to help bridge the gulf between the haves and the have-nots. The question is whether America will do it. There's nothing new about poverty. What is new is that we now have the techniques and the resources to get rid of poverty. And the real question is whether we have the will. We read one day, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But if a man doesn't have a job or an income, he has neither life nor liberty, the possibility for the pursuit of happiness. He merely exists. The other thing I want you to understand is this. And it didn't cost the nation one penny to integrate lunch counts. It didn't cost the nation one penny to guarantee the right to vote. But now we are dealing with issues that cannot be solved without the nation spending billions of dollars and undergoing a radical redistribution of economic power. Yeah, yeah. Estimated that we spend $322,000 for each enemy we kill in Vietnam, while we spend in the so-called war on poverty in America only about $53 for each person classified as poor. The promises of the great society have been shot down on the battlefield of Vietnam making the poor, white and Negro, bear the heaviest burdens, both at the front and at home. Don't let anybody take your man. Let anybody take your manhood.